Even though Ilganoth has been nerfed and still sees play in a different deck, there's another new Demon Hunter that's showing its way onto the meta through Brute Force. This deck was the biggest bait for this weekend's Masters Tour because there's a lot of people that ended up bringing this deck and didn't do so well with it, but there's also a good number of people that did bring this deck and are having some very good success. Uh, there's one clip in particular that I will try to highlight for you guys that really showcased the power of this deck, and it was actually in a match that was on yesterday's Masters Tour, which was Maddie versus Fled, and this match was definitely something to where uh, it showcased the power of uh, what this deck can do, because not only can you have insane, like, turn 3 turn four combos with your Ironbound Brutes, thanks to how, mu how much card draws in this deck. Uh, but there's also a way to potentially OTK with Lion Frenzy. That's right, you run one copy of this card because one is really all you need. You don't want to run two for the consistency because it's not like you're going to be drawing a bunch and swinging with this weapon every single time. This is going to be your main way of killing people because this is where a large amount of your damage can come from. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you guys the, uh, the real way to play the new OTK Demon Hunter with Lion's Frenzy and Ironbound Brutes. So the first win con, I'm just going to go ahead and throw the clip I was talking about earlier from yesterday's Masters Tour. This is the Lion Frenzy combo that you can pull off if you do have enough mana discounts and the right cards in hand. Uh, something to keep in mind with this deck is that you are very, very dependent on making a game plan. And I use two varies there for a, for a really good reason. Because this is one of those decks to where once you are out of gas, you don't have anything else to go for. You really need to know when to go for your card draw, when to go for the brutes, when it's time to go for the risk and when you have to play safe. This is one of those decks you really gotta know what your decisions are because the moment you run out of gas, it really doesn't have much sustaining power. Your 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 win cons are really one of three different uh one of three different outs. You want to go for the big brute play, which can just win by itself. And if you happen to go up against taunts, your second win con is actually cane. There's a lot of ways to where you have like a gigantic board and then you just throw down cane so that way there's no uh, void walkers or teachers pets or whatever taunts people are playing nowadays not that many but there's a decent amount to where Kane is just really good plus these additional three damage it just helps in that aspect uh, but also that works with lion's frenzy you can use Kane with lion's frenzy in order to get your third win con and that's just a third way of being able to pressure damage you could try to do all three of these win cons at once it's not just dependent on one being you know th the best one to go towards it's gonna depend on your draws and whatever cards you get from your mulligan so with that with that all uh, in mind let's uh you know, hammer in the idea that this deck is very high rolly, but when you play this deck right, it almost feels unbeatable. I would argue that this deck is almost an all or nothing deck to where you get your combo and you win, or you don't get your combo and you lose, so very similar to a scam deck. But like, I found it very interesting that the consistency of this deck is actually there if if you do have play this deck correctly. The biggest tips that I can give you is that your final showdown quest is very, very key if you happen to discount certain cards. It's not just one of those quests where you want to complete it every single game, but you, if you do need to go for that, there actually is a fourth win con that I did forget to mention. Uh, where you have your Kurtrus. If you actually have Kurtrus into Glides and then you're able to find your Lion's Frenzy that way, it's very similar to the other way of winning, but the Kurtrus Glide uh, mana cheat is actually very real uh, to be able to give you a lot of tempo all at once. There's like Furies in order to give yourself plenty of hero damage if you don't happen to draw the Lion's Frenzy, and you have other ways of being able to cycle through the deck, but this is just one of those decks that's a lot of fun to play, and I have a lot of really cool clips coming up ahead, so if you guys enjoy this kind of, uh, this kind of content with Demon Hunter, Feel free to let me know because like this is one of those decks that I think is a lot of fun to play It will take a little bit of time to master But if you do understand it, you're gonna have the time of your life gliding your opponent and actually winning But I hope you guys enjoy this take on the new OTK demon hunter with brutes as I like to call it Because this is just really a fancy scam OTK deck disguised and a deck full of large mana brutes. Uh, one other thing that I did forget to mention, in case you guys don't understand how we get a whole bunch of brutes onto the field, Philosophy is a card you're gonna have to watch out for because there are times where you want to use Philosophy on your Spirit Jailers in order to get more uh, Soul Shards into your deck in order to charge the Lion Frenzy, but more times than not, you're gonna use the Philosophy in order to copy your brutes in order to have large boards that you will definitely see in the first clip coming up ahead. So make sure that you see the first game at least so you understand just how powerful this deck actually is. And don't forget, if you do enjoy this content, feel free to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel in order to be notified about any other future uploads we happen to come out with. The deck code is down below in case you guys want to start scamming the ladder with your own brutes and lion frenzy combos. And as always, if you want to catch these clips live, we stream at twitch.tv slash Clark Hillscreen. I hope you guys enjoy scamming games with brute force. We'll see you for the next video. 
keeping Spectral Sight, I think, on the far left might be a good idea, but usually you want to keep one drops with this deck. I haven't really seen much play of this deck outside of, like, what, Fino, Blyze, and a little bit of Draco Cat, but I think I might be able to figure out this deck on stream because this is, like, one of those decks to where it's kind of all about the high roll, but you have to be able to set it up very nicely. Like, you gotta know when to play your draw, you gotta know when to go for the combo, because if you go for it and fail, it really screws up your chances of winning. So, like, getting these guys, getting out good uh, curves in the early game, so that way you can save your draw all for one turn. That's kind of the way you want to be able to do this. Alright, what? He's playing Handlock, then. Alright, I could beat that. I'm gonna wait on the draw one more turn. If I get one more draw card, I'll be able to pop the quest. So kind of hoping for like a uh, Sigil Runner. If I get a Soul Fragment, that'll also work. That's like the big thing with like this meta. It's kind of funny how we use Soul Fragments not for the actual healing, but more so for the draw. I mean, Warlock, the healing is definitely important, but it's just kind of funny how Soul Fragments have completely changed in their versatility. Alright, uh... So this is one of those turns where it's like, do you go for it and get lucky, or do you just wait? I feel like we have to wait, because, like, what's the point of really going for it right now? He's gonna, like, maybe play Rod, play, like, free admission. I need the high roll. I'm fine just waiting a turn. Although, I'm really upset that I didn't get the Brutes. <laughs> like... I need to be able to get the discounts on the right cards, and right now I don't really have, like, discount cards. I just have draw cards, so... Yo, what's going on, Jack? What's going on, Yudlin? Yujin? Good to have you guys here. Oh, yeah, yo, look at that. Okay, so Spectral Sight works. So we get the draw, we get the discounts. Ooh. Alright, I don't know if I want to play that acrobatics yet. I am not as good as I think I am. Yo, what's going on bit by bit? I am definitely not as good as uh not as good as I think I am because I fell from 1k to 3k when I was actually trying to win games instead of just memeing around. So we're gonna we're gonna fix that today. I actually have a free day to play some Hearthstone after this entire week of, like, doing r adult stuff, like, going to college, because good god. I, I, I'm not even kidding, dude. Like, I, I feel like this is gonna take up the rest of my time. It is gonna eat, it's definitely gonna eat into content creation, for sure. But, I'm gonna be able to do the best I can to be able to balance things. I think I've got a perfect schedule in mind. So, I'm not letting this, you know, get in the way. I'm just gonna let it enhance myself, you know. But I gotta enhance these ranks first. Oh, come on. Playing Cult Neophyte? Alright. Well, I guess I could set up this, play this to kill the minion, or I could just Hero Power just to knock it out. I also could use this. There's a few options that I have here. I think the best idea is to focus on the insane draw turn. Because Warlock has a bad I uh, has a really bad way of coming back from these kind of swings. And I have, like, the potential to pop off, but I kind of need to get lucky and hit some Brutes here. So that way I have a reason to pop off. Alright. So I'm going to do it this way. I know I, like, float a little bit of mana, but I have, like, a really good draw turn now. But, like, without a Brute, like, I just don't have anything. It's kind of insane how this deck really relies on the Brute and, like, Lion's Frenzy as well. Is there ever a reason to play two of these for consistency? Probably not, because the point of the deck is trying to draw itself. And, like, if you have another one of these, then you're not really getting a lot of value out of the draw. Like, you're trying to kill your opponent with this. You're not trying to, like, wear them down. Yo, what's going on, Joshua? Found an opportunity to hop in the stream for the first time. I see you a lot on Daily Hearthstone and Twitter. Yo, what's going on, Ultra? Welcome to the stream, Ultra Rodham. Is that supposed to be, uh, the, the Pokemon? The Rodham Pokemon? Oh, we got the Brute! Alright, alright, we go hard. We go hard. It's turn six. It's turn six. We go hard now. Lied. Well, see, this is exactly why we held on to cards. See, this is exactly why we held on to cards. Because now I can do this. 
discount a lot more. I could pl okay, yeah, this is what we do. Boom. I can now play this. There's- oh my god, no way, dude. No. No, stop it. He's just a boy. He's just a boy. Oh my god. Okay, I kind of screwed this up a little bit, but, um... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. T turn 5, 8, eights are bad right- are, are good right now? Hold on a minute. Turn 5, 8, eights are good? Is this what we're complaining about? I, I, I think we need to talk about the elephant in the room, or more so the, uh, the ironbound brute in the room. Oh my god. Dude, this is actually the first time I popped off the high roll this way. Alright, cool! That was a nice 25 damage you dealt, or 30 damage if you include your minion. But you're still dead, it looks like. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, it's turn 6! You can do this as like early as like turn 4 sometimes if you get the right draw, but my god, this is what patience gets you. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, but it's Nightmare, thank you for the shout out to Hazer. Guys, definitely check him out. Fantastic streamer. Also, good player. Like, good lord. I don't really know how else to describe it. That, the dude's like super nuts and wild, so. <laughs> Alright, um... I don't think we need to keep acrobatics, but against Warlock, I feel like it's a good idea. Might be a bit greedy, though. Might be a bit greedy. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can find. Eldari studies might have been a better turn one. I probably should have considered that. I always forget about that with this deck. But yeah, what kind of decks are you playing today, man? Whether okay, I need I need other boar ideas. I've done boar warlock, boar priest. Obviously, that's the that's the easy one. I even did some boar demon hunter and some boar hunter. But I need some other boar deck ideas. And if anyone's ever playing some spicy boar decks, I must know. Especially now that we have the golden one. Like, good lord. We have some fresh memes prepared. Um... I think I just have to jam this. See what I find. Probably just have to take the card draw. See, this is why I kind of wanted to wait a turn. If I would have done that, I would have had this here. Would have played the quest now. Maybe played this. Yeah, I just have to take the draw now. We're gonna build up our hand and then we're gonna go for the high roll with the uh, the acrobatics. That probably seems like the way to go. Cause like this isn't really the hand that I want to discount. You know, these aren't the cards that win me the game. So saving the card draw doesn't really make a difference. I see now that we could have like done this into the uh, the spectral site, but what good would that have done? One, two. Still not really the hand that I want to pop off with, but we just need to play this in order to get it out of hand. We have this. We're fine. Ooh. Do I make two fours against Warlock? No. Probably not. That doesn't seem like a good use of my cards. Just throw this. Hit him in the face. Probably going to go for the draw next turn. The acrobatics keep more than I think about it probably wasn't correct. Bad players play good deck. <laughs> Who's the guest? Cause you aren't a bad player, dude. Uh, well, let's we'll see, we'll let my my plays uh, decide that. I think compared to some people, I definitely have some progress to do. I feel like I have a good grasp on decks, but my I don't feel like I play my my win cons uh, consistently enough. You know. My biggest issue as a Hearthstone player is that I get distracted by the pretty plays and like the, the shiny, ooh, what if we did this instead? Okay, now I think we wait one more turn because this just gives us a reason to hold. So I play the Sigil Runner. We have another Tusk. We'll do this. We'll hit him in the face. We wait. Probably could have swung to get the, uh, to get like another Death Rattle card. Maybe could have done that, but I'm being a little bit greedy. 
I got invited to a Finnish TV show to play a side character for about four or five episodes, uh, I think. Work is work. I'd say that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good gig, dude. They treat you right if the show's, you know, like, actually good, and you don't have to, like, sacrifice any kind of, like, integrity in order to, to, to perform the show. That's a good gig. You take those gigs, and they pay you well. That's just the cherry on top. Take yourself out to a nice meal afterwards. That's always something that I like to do uh, whenever I have, like, a, a good show that paid a lot of money. I like to go get a nice meal afterwards. It's like, it's like a victory meal. And then you pocket the rest of the money, and then that's how, you know, you treat yourself nicely. And you don't blow all your money away. So, you know, definitely have fun. That's my, that's, that, that's Clark's, you know, biggest advice to you guys. Definitely have fun. Don't get carried away, though. I was playing Pillager Rogue and Fatigue Demon Seed Warlock. Don't have any board decks for you. Maybe maybe one of these days. Maybe one of these days board decks will be on top. I mean, Boar Priest is scarily consistent. You could actually run it as like a tech against some other decks. Just like, you know, if you don't if you wanna if you wanna meme around a little bit, why not? Okay, this is kinda sad. But if I get good draws, then we're we're in business. I have lots of damage. Literally just need to do this in order to discount, so I think I'm just gonna go for it. I need to hit a brute with this draw. Really need to hit a brute with this draw. Come on, baby. Did not hit a brute. Hmm. Maybe I should have played this first in order to get more um more value. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I really want to play this just to get the double card draw. There's really no point, though. Outside of just, like, getting it. You know what, screw it. I, think, I feel like it might be the right play. Because what if I get the Brute? Yeah, baby! There we go. That's how we treat me right. Do we just play it, though? He probably has a way of killing it. Let's see. I really want to copy it. But at the same time, we have another one in the deck. Alright, here we go. Really sucks that I have to play Philosophy for no value like that, but it's fine. They will, uh... They will pay for my living, though, two weeks of being there. Ooh, that's, that's definitely, you know, a nice cherry on top. Because I am from Estonia. Yeah, I think you were, yeah, you were telling us about, like, your, um... You were doing like an acting troupe thing for a while. So that must be over. And now you got another another gig lined up. Dude, like there you go. Professional actor in chat, guys. Hit him up for all kinds of commercials or whatever you need acting wise. <laughs> One of these days I wanna like maybe do like some voiceovers or like maybe some kind of like, you know, uh, voice acting for like a character or something. That'd be kind of cool. But as of right now, I would need to build up a portfolio, and I'm kind of doing a little bit too much at the moment. So unless someone comes knocking on my door, it's like, hey, here's what we're doing. Show up every Thursday after whatever, and then we'll get shit going. Okay, maybe not Thursdays. I have school on Thursdays. But regardless, we'll figure something out. <laughs> voice this character. Can you do this voice? Here's this voice. All right, cool. You're hot. You're hired. That's like the dream. That's like the dream. Wait, what the... Didn't kill this? I mean, it is handlock after all. Maybe I could have, I could have held back one more turn. I could have actually held back one more turn. But I do have the advantage, so this feels pretty good. I could glide, but I kind of want to glide him. Is there a way of doing that? Not this turn, but I could set it up for next turn. I could just go all for damage right now and set up. I think I kind of like that. Let's see, this is three, six, seven. 8, 10, 16, 19. 19 damage. What can I find out of this? That's scary. That's pretty scary, my guy. I'm gonna do it because memes, but I don't think it's the correct play. Whoa, ah, ah, ah! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait, what if this is the correct play? Oh my god, what if this is the correct play? <laughs> oh, that, 
that's a that's a get smacked play. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Maybe it was the correct play. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of a lot of damage. And I can do even more because I have glide and I oh my god, dude, this demon hunter deck is so sick. Demon Hunter plays the big Beeman Hunter. Ah, Beeman Bunter. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty decent turn. Oh my god, dude. This deck is so much fun. Oh my god. Like, what can he do? He can trade play Soul Ren. Then you die to the other to the Lion's Fury. <laughs> Uh, this will be a sitcom about neighbors living in the same block, and I'll be one of the neighbors' boyfriend. There you go, dude. Let's see. Okay, so what kind of sitcom boyfriends are there? Like, I'm, I'm trying to think of, like, you know, classic ones like, um, like that 70s show. So what, are you going to be, like, uh, Ashton Kutcher? That kind of thing? <laughs> okay, can you not kill? Yes, let's go, dude. Ah, get out of here. Oh wait, wait, he's still alive. He's still alive. Hold on a minute, no, he's still alive. Wait, no he's not because I still have the minion. And I still have the weapon. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> oh my god, off the draw alone. Bam. That fills, like, the, 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 bam. Like, what else do you want me to say? I've already said everything. That was such a sweet turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think this is a full keep. I think this is actually a full keep. Pretty good start here. I could just play the Jailer on one. Actually, no, we play Eldar Eldari Studies on one, according to, um, according to Bit by Bit. I guess we could go with Stalina. So that way, maybe I could stop a, uh, a potential brute play. I don't think this card's going to be all that valuable. But maybe it can lead to something funny. You 100% uh, called regarding not being greedy with the weapon swing. Yep, yep. I told you, man. It's because I hit the glide at, right, at the exact right time. Okay, so now I'm going to do this. Play the minion. Now we're in business, bud. Let's see what you got. Because I've got a pretty decent next turn. One, two, three. Can discount my hand. Still have coin. Seems like a pretty good option. Yeah, Jex. Uh, apparently, Snightmare is offering to let you uh, play the deck. Like, with his points. So, if you want me to play your deck, it like, speak now, forever hold your peace. He, he might be uh, he might be at work though or might be getting ready for work actually hold on he doesn't go to work till like five I don't know what he's doing then Jax but I'm just asleep <laughs> oh wait hold on a minute okay so we play this one instead because it gets a discount from philosophy and then this will get discounted from the mana like from the uh, from uh, they'll get a mana discount from the uh, the, show, the showdown Ooh. okay we're, we got a pretty sexy next turn if we can find some cards to support this. Turn three giant seems pretty good. And then I could play the star student in order to try and stop any of his shenanigans. And then we see what we can do. Pretty good. P turn turn three. Uh, what was that? We play all these uh, minions in one turn. Yeah, turn three, seven, eight with taunt. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. Go ahead. Get your mulligan. Get your fresh start. I'll take a peek, see what I can find. I don't think unless he hits Brute here and, like, another card that helps him draw that he's going to be able to do much about this. Does he actually have seven damage? Okay, he's just outcasting it. If he plays Brute, this is good play. It's just kind of how this deck rolls. 
play the brute. Hope you win. All right, doesn't look like he wins. Let's take a little peek. A little peek. See what you got in there. <laughs> That just worked out. That just worked out perfectly. Like, dude, that, that was a turn three brute that just wins the game. That's kind of how this deck rolls. I don't think I have mod check enabled, do I? No, I don't have mod check enabled. Feels bad. Paddle cry fatigue twice. <laughs> boomer stream hey man i have i have i have the memes like cat jam that's the big one love me love me some some uh some cat jams i think we just do this in hero power yeah we're gonna have like a turn we're gonna have a really good turn for like that a lot <laughs> oh no mods either sedge <laughs> Okay, so this is another really bad matchup. Mage matchup, bad matchup. Might have to go back to the Warlock Tex. Like, hold on a minute. Would Druid be good right now? I'm not seeing that much aggro. They should just give Warlock Myra's and stable element. Oh my god, this man's crazy. Somebody put Joker in jail right now. He's too much. Mage is easy. Mage is... It has its hard turns, but it's not that complicated. I would I would tend to agree with you on that one. As as far as like the complicated decks go, this meta mage definitely feels like it got the easier uh, easier short of the uh, the easier end of the stick was, is what I was trying to say. This demon hunter deck is fairly difficult. Warlock is difficult if you don't if you don't know how to play it. Priest is difficult to play if you're playing control priest because good lord you have to do some omega brain thinking in order to even do anything. I'm one of the game testers for Blizzard. One of your thoughts on some of the Warlock nerfs that we were thinking of. We wanted to remove Lifesteal from the Demon Seed, and instead, uh, you start the game with Tamsin in hand. We're also changing the Warlock Hero Power to discount your hand by five and draw your entire deck. Thoughts? Okay, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. So you're saying that you want the Warlock Hero Power to draw the entire deck and discount your hand by five. That is actually a hard mechanic to work around because you have to know when to press the hero power. But at the same time, we've seen what Warlock can do to where they can just play a whole bunch of cards and then just not even care. So, I don't know, man. The more I think about that hero power, the more like more difficult it may be to use it. But I don't know. <laughs> uh, hold on a minute. Can I get lucky with the brutes? Can I get lucky? Can I get extra Loki, please? With a, uh, a side of Brute? I think we got it. Very nice. I have a chance now. And I also didn't hit the... Um... Whew, pretty good. Pretty good Brute turn. It's turn four. He hasn't played... Oh, he literally just played a Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah yeah this sucks for you doesn't it very very big brutes i am brute <laughs> can you click the hero power then play tamsin backfire into hand niggled and yeah dude that would work too especially if you just start with tamsin in hand but if you start with tamsin in hand you start with a five mana seven seven so that's a dead card that's a dead card. All right, see what else I find. Another tusk, sure. It's zero mana. Where's Lion's Frenzy? I could play Glide in order to discount my hand. I'm not 100% against doing that. It's not like he's drawn any options and I feel like I want to hit something else. So I'm going to play Glide. Very nice discounts. Don't need to reveal these yet. I think I'm gonna hear up. Yeah, I'm gonna hear up power. 
This works. And here's another thing. If every single warlock just, like, had, um... If every single warlock just had, like, that tap, so many people would just, like, uh, misplay with it. Especially at the lower ranks. Tur turn one OTK? You could turn one OTK with tour guide. That would also make tour guide really good. Hold on a minute. Never mind. Blizzard, we broke we broke the meta. We figured out that tour guide with that broken hero power that you just suggested would be, yeah, would be pretty insane. Tour guide would, uh, yeah. No thank you. All your giants would cause your Yeah, literally tour guide OTK. <laughs> I think we I think we found the the flaws in your uh, in your in your approach there. I th I'm gonna play acrobatics first. Okay, okay. Let's see what I find. Ah, oh, damn it! If only I could play you. I could play Kurtrust though. I have Kurtrust into the Lion's Pride Glide play with a thick amount of damage. I don't know if the mage is going to be able to deal with this, like not without the encounter slow discounts. Like you do have, you know, the minion, but what now? Like I actually think I just win with Lion's Frenzy uh, Fury Glide. This is 10. Yeah, that's game over, dude. That's definitely game over. Easy peasy. Thank you. Brutes and Lions Frenzy. They just go together so well. 